Hey, good morning guys. This is Big Al with Big Al's Above Ground Pools. I'm gonna show you a few things that I've learned so far. The first thing I did was get a contractor in here to get me a perfectly level graded site. We had to build a retaining wall to make it fit in here, but it was well worth it um, because my ground is all within a half inch of being level. Today I'm building the 12 by 24 Intrepid saltwater pool from the pool factory. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that's gonna make your job easier. Right now, I've got all, well, just about six of my buttress in the ground. As you can see, that one still has to be done. I've got the rest of them in, and I've got this side completely finished. I squared it off of my wall there so I'd have something to line it up with. They're all sitting on cap blocks, just like instructions show. So I've squared it up. My critical point to square, squaring this thing up was to measure from that screw all the way over to that screw and then do the same thing from this side to this side. The directions say it needs to be 167. I talked to the pool factory. Mine was 168. They're okay with that. The other critical measurement, I'm going to show it to you right now with my finger, is this 148 right here. From there to there has to be on the money. And of course, your diagonals have to be on the money. So what I'm talking about here is the uh, bottom wall rim. These guys right here, they are exactly 148 inches. What's made this job go really, really easy is this guy right here. Folks, you got to have a transit. There's no way to do it quickly and efficiently without one. My plans are to build this whole pool by myself, so that's why I set this up. And I've yet to have anybody help me. And I'm also going with Fomalar 250 2 inch polystyrene instead of sand because. There is no way I'm going to wheel two tons of sand around the front of the house, down here, dump it, and spread it out. So I'll also show you how I do that. So this will be the first video, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. All the groundwork has been done. Everything is level, believe it or not, within a half inch, thanks to this transit right here. But we had a lot of rain, and even though this was excavated well below grade, as you can see, this area right in here is a little bit low. Those rails should be sitting on the ground. So I've got some uh, stone dust. I'm gonna bring it here and tamp that out. It levels out about right in here. So it's just a very small area. You can see where I've marked it. So tomorrow we're gonna uh, get this thing flat and everything set in, cover it with plastic. And then I will bring in my two inch foam and cut all of it to fit and then we will start building these walls thanks everyone have a great day this is the intrepid uh, 24 foot by 12 foot oval uh, today on our third video we're just going to show you how we've got the final grade done on this side very simple uh, we had some settling in this corner so what we did was just uh, use some gravel sand gravel dust they call it we only brought it up about a half an inch. Straight two before and a level. Puts you right on the money. So this side right here is complete. All these cap blocks, as you can see, and then this buttress free support, they are all level with each other. Very important. These rails need to touch the ground. Very important. All we gotta do is work on this other side. This really dropped down, so we're doing it in what's called lifts, about a one inch lift. We pack it and wet it, add some more, and pack it and wet it. We're actually only going up about an inch and a half, but I just don't want it to uh, settle anymore. So next thing is to cut the foam, two inch polymer 250 foam. After we lay down some plastic, put that on top, and then we start building the walls. All right, so today we're starting to install the walls. And this is the exciting part because it's starting to come together. For the Intrepid Pool, the first step is to start over 
an upright boot and center two regular slats. And once you do that, within the first five feet, you need to install your skimmer panel and your return panel and no more than eight panels between the two, which I've done. So I put on my beaded uh, receiver here and my top rail and that is holding it pretty dang good. We're not supposed to have any rain or wind for the next five days, but we're committed now. So we are gonna get this wall up today so it'll be stable and we'll put the liner in in a few days. Great. All right, folks, today's a big day. Floor's going in. Uh, so far, what we've done is we have our foam wall up. That's done. Uh, and my panels, I wanted to go with two inch but since I'm doing a beaded liner, the manufacturer said it has to be a three inch floor. So it actually worked out that I was able to notch out this one inch piece to fit over the boots inside the pool floor. And then I just glued these up. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll see you after the floor is installed. Okay, so we got our three inches of Fomalar 250 PSI extruded polystyrene in place over some plastic, We've taped all the joints with Tyvek tape, cleaned everything up, added the foam cove, and now we're ready to add the underlayment, which is just a blanket that goes underneath the liner. It is uh, wet, wetted with water to just kind of help us get all the wrinkles out, smooth everything out. We've got all that done, and now we're ready to lay the liner in. We've left it out in the sun to let it really get nice and warm. It has to be above 70 degrees for this to work, folks. You temporarily clip it into place. You make sure that the seam at the wall and the floor go up against the cove molding. I use a push broom to get everything in position. I try to shop back to pull in the wall, but really did not make that much difference. The main thing is just to use a push broom, add about three inches of water, push everything in and slowly take your time. We clipped it all into place. This thing filled right up. All the seams were perfect. Any wrinkles were gone. And this is a job done by two people. It turned out great. There was no issues and we are good to go. Hope everything works well for you guys. Have a great winter and good luck on your install.